Determining Wikipedia Credibility What is Wikipedia? Wikipedia is a collaboratively written electronic encyclopedia. Because it's collaboratively written, it has many pros, including the ability to present multiple viewpoints, have constant updates, and contain lots of links to related material. But, because it's collaboratively written, it's also susceptible to vandalism, so evaluation of the information in Wikipedia is very important. Why would you use Wikipedia? Well, Wikipedia is an excellent starting point for student inquiries, and it's particularly useful when investigating emerging topics not covered through other sources. So the collaborative nature of Wikipedia makes it a great place to start your research. Additionally, the prestigious journal Nature reported that Wikipedia's accuracy for science-based articles nearly equaled the highly regarded Encyclopedia Britannica. So in actuality, the accuracy of Wikipedia is quite comparable to standard encyclopedias. You should use Wikipedia for your pre-search if you would use an encyclopedia. So, if you would use an encyclopedia to get background information on a particular topic, look in an encyclopedia to get general answer to a general question, or refer to the encyclopedia to help you get the big picture of a concept or idea, you could also use Wikipedia. Since Wikipedia is susceptible to vandalism, you really have to evaluate every piece of information found there. The acronym for the evaluation system I like is called CARS. CARS stands for Credibility, Accuracy, Reasonableness, and Support. You can use this system to evaluate any kind of source, but here we're going to show you how to use it with Wiki. First of all, Credibility. All Wikipedia articles are supposed to contain reliable sources to support what's being said. Therefore, if there are few or no links to an article, it may not be credible, simply because other people don't trust it. Additionally, the editors of Wikipedia regularly flag articles which need citations. For example, here we have two different articles, one of which have, has no references, and one of which has a ton of references. Over on the left, since there are no references cited for this article, you really can't judge its credibility. So I'm not sure that I would take any of this information as being credible. On the right, since there are numerous references cited for this article, you can more accurately assess its credibility. Now, just because it has lots of references doesn't mean that it's definitely credible, but it certainly does add to that perception. The second part of our acronym is accuracy. You can actually see when a Wikipedia page was last edited by clicking on the View History tab at the top of each page. So in this case, if I click on View History, I can see exactly when the page was last edited. In this case, just hours before this video was made. So there's no worries about this information being stagnant. It gets changed all the time. Additionally, Wikipedia regularly flags pages which may need improvement. So if you run across an article like this, you should question its accuracy. You'll notice here that this particular entry has multiple issues and they've actually asked for improvements on the page itself. The next part of the acronym is reasonableness. Now, Wikipedia articles are intended to be neutral and not take a side on any issue. Therefore, all sides of the debate should be presented. When this doesn't happen, Wikipedia regularly flags pages which may be biased. So if you run across an article like this, you should certainly question its credibility. In the example below, you'll notice Wikipedia has actually included a warning about the article lending, quote, undue weight to one side of an issue. This may indicate that it's unreasonable. The S part of the acronym is for support. Since Wikipedia is written collaboratively by sometimes anonymous authors, verifying whose writing can be almost impossible. So this is really tricky when it comes to Wikipedia. If we view history just like we did when we were looking previously, it will show you who has authored each page. So that could be helpful. However, you'll notice over on the right that you can often never figure out who these authors really are. Who is 198 point blah 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 and Delir 12? Who knows, but they're two authors of this page. You can also get some sense of whether or not Wikipedians trust a particular page by looking at what links here to the left of each page. If a lot of other pages link to the article you're looking at, it's a sign that other people trust its information. For example, the article Convention to Propose Amendments to the United States Constitution links to over 500 other pages. 
Now while this isn't definitive, it certainly gives us a good sense that this article is well supported and that people trust it. Another way to judge the credibility of a Wikipedia page is to click on View Source at the top of the page. If a page is prone to vandalism, like the one seen below for President Barack Obama, only certain people are allowed to edit it. So if you find a protected page, it's watched more closely, so therefore it's more likely to be credible. Remember, all research sources should be evaluated, not just Wikipedia. So no matter what you're looking at, where it's published, what it says, you have to be critical of what is being presented to you. That is your job as a critical reader. Wikipedia is a good place to start your research, but it's a poor place to end it. Always refer to the sources Wikipedia sites to get a full picture.